I gotta say, I really love transparent headers. It's one of those modern design trends that I really like and I think it's gonna stand the test of time. And I really love the Astra theme. I've been using it, I think as might have been their first user using the Astra theme. And a great thing happened probably about two or three months ago. The free version of the Astra theme, which is fantastic, they added transparent header as an option to the free theme and it's so easy to use. So I decided it's time to make a video to show everyone that's using the free version of Astra how simple it is to add this transparent header to their website, but in a smart way. And as I show you the settings, you're gonna see how they've done this in a very smart way. Now, if you don't have the professional version of Astra, no worries, I have a link in the video description down below or you can visit wpcrafter.com slash Astra to check out the pro version of Astra. But this video is gonna be based on the free version of Astra, which is a fantastic theme. So I've got this website pulled up right here and you can see I'm using the free version of Astra and it has a beautiful transparent header. And there's also an option now to put a button in the header and it's super easy to do. So let's take a look at how we did it. Actually here, let me back it up. So this is the home page, but then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click right here to a blog post. And we notice on a blog post here, it's not using a transparent header. We get these options with the free Astra theme. Uh, I will put a link to the instructions, the official instructions in the video description in case anything changes. Let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to click on customize and that's going to get us into the WordPress customizer where we can start making changes. I'll click on layout. I'll click on header and then we have our three options. This is where the logo location is, your normal header, and the transparent header. Now they're separated, these settings. Why do you think they're separated? The reason is quite simple. If you're using a transparent header, you're probably gonna want to have your menu link colors be different. You're probably gonna want your logo potentially colors to be different. So you have this option. Okay, so for the primary header, you can go in here and set everything up like that. Now let's go to transparent header. So the first option is going to be whether or not we want to enable this on the entire website. This might not be a great idea. I'm gonna show you how to do this, but I'll also show you how to do it on individual pages. Here's why it's not a good idea. What if I click on the checkbox? It's gonna look fine here on the home page. Let me scroll down and go back to that blog post. So I'm gonna to go to one of these blog posts. Doesn't look too good, right? Uh, and that's because this isn't this blog page is not set up to have something where a transparent header would sit on top of and actually look good. And so what Astro's done is given us options to control this. So first I'll show you some of those options. So you notice when I clicked on this checkbox, it gives us an option here to disable transparent header on your 404 search page and archive pages. So your archive page is like your blog index page. So pages of your website that are usually controlled by a plugin or a theme and it's not on an individual basis, you might want to click on this box right here. Okay, so I also get a chance to disable it on my blog index page, on all pages and on all posts. So this blog right here is not really set up to have a transparent header. So I'm gonna choose this option that says disable on posts and then I'm back to normal right here and it looks fine. Now if I go to any page, it'll show the transparent header, but when I'm individually creating the pages, I know that a transparent header is gonna go there so I can make sure that it's gonna look right, okay? So you get these options right here. Then you have the option right here to enable it on and choose if it's just going to be desktop, mobile, or both. You get those options. Next, you have the option to have a different logo for the transparent header. You're probably going to want this depending on the color scheme of your logo. And then you have your retina logo. You can set the width and the border and all of that kind of good stuff. So this is how you how easy it is to add a transparent header to your website. Now I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna show you how to do it on an individual page by page basis. So if you notice, I still have the transparent header settings in there, but you get that granular control of choosing exactly where you're gonna use it. 
So I'm gonna go into edit a page and this is your normal page editing experience. By the way, this homepage, this whole site is done using Gutenberg, just nothing but WordPress, okay? So you'll have these options here on the right side. You wanna find the one that says Astra settings and at the very bottom, you get the option here that says transparent header. Now, when you click on the drop down, you get to choose the customizer settings. So whatever you have set on the customizer will apply to this page. You can have enable or you can have disabled. So if you say set it to your entire website, but there's a page you didn't want it, you would go into the setting and click on disable. And in this case, the opposite is true. We don't have it applied to the entire website. We're just choosing specifically where we want it based upon this option here. So on this page, I have it enabled, but I could just easily click on disable. I can click on update. And then what I can do is take a look at the page. It's probably not gonna look right, but let's just see what it looks like. Yeah, it actually looks fine. You can see this is what it looks like turned off. So let me just quickly go back and then turn it right back on. It'll look fine that way, much better. Now you can do this for blog posts. You can do this for pages. You could do this for any type of content you have on your website. And there it is, it's right back. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll put a link to the official instructions in the video description box down below. And remember, if you don't have Astra, I'll have a link to that as well. The pro version of Astra is what I'm talking about. I'll put a link to that down below. Uh, there's a lot of little goodies like this in the Astra theme. Uh, they do a lot of things right in a very smart and easy to understand way. I'm so glad that they're bringing features that were officially only in the pro version, they're bringing them into the free version just because they want to give back to the users that have supported Astra, even though they might not be able to afford it or their money might have gone someplace else. Anyways, that's all I have for you in this video. If you found value, consider giving it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and click on that notification bell and YouTube's gonna let you know when I have new videos like this on Astra, on Elementor, on all sorts of WordPress related things. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.